So here's the lemon pepper. Boneless chicken. Got my honey mustard sauce. Lemon pepper explosion. What's up, my grub lovers? Who ready to get that grub on? You know that I am. It's your boy, Mr. Grub, back again with another video for you guys. And today we are going to Checkers. We're going to have us a Checkers mukbang and talk about some plans I want to share with you guys today. So there are some things coming up that I'm really excited about um, and I want to share with you guys. But it wouldn't be right if I shared it with you guys without food. So. I'm going to break it down to you guys once we head over there and get some food. I heard they got some new things at Checkers. It's been a while since I've been there. So let's head over there and check them out, guys. It's your boy, Mr. Grub. All right, guys. So... They had a bunch of new things that I didn't even know checkers carry, right? So, I'm going to be honest. I'm, I'm a little embarrassed about this. Um, I haven't been to checkers since they were rallies down in Florida. I know it's still rallies some other places. I have no idea where. But it's been that long, guys. So, the last time I was there, all they had was, you know, the burgers, the fries, and drinks. There was nothing special, no chicken, no none of that. So, I just, I was sitting there for a minute trying to figure out what I need to get because everything just looked so new to me, right? But, I went ahead and tried, they had some some funnel funnel cake fries. I was like, now that's different. I want to try that. Had some strawberries on the top with a little whipped cream. They also had um, some lemon pepper barbecue uh, boneless wings, and I wanted to try those as well to see if it had that original lemon pepper taste, you know, like I get from Wingstop, you know, shout out Rick Ross. So I want to try that. I'm going to let you guys check them out. For those who haven't seen it, let you check it out too before I dive in and on it, guys. So check it, check it out. Let me know what you think. to try this out i want to try the funnel first because you know with the heat and the sweet i don't want it to be too soggy because it is funnel fries right so i'm gonna go ahead and try those first and then uh, we'll get into uh the lemon pepper i also got they had a two for uh two for four they have two for three two for four two for five so i guess that's the new thing right now um you know, I see, you know, Wendy's had the four for four. Uh, who else was it? Steak and Shake had the four for four. Uh, you know, Burger King got the two for six. McDonald's has the two for five. So I guess it's only right. Checkers has the two for five as well, but they have a two for four and two for three. So they give you more options. So um, I think for a consumer, based on our standpoint, we're winning either way because we're getting that deal everywhere right now. So you know, uh, shout out to Checkers for, you know, being part of the trend. So we'll go ahead and try these funnel cake fries. They're actually really good. They actually did master the taste of the funnel cake in the fry. Strawberry. Y'all yeah, know I like strawberry. And they have the whipped cream on them. So this is really good. Shout out to Checkers for that. Mm. Yeah, 
a bang up job. So I know Super Bowls this weekend. Anybody watching it? Who y'all root for? I heard most people don't want to root for the Patriots because they tired of seeing Tom Brady there. <laughs> Tom Brady said he ain't retired until he's 45. <laughs> So y'all might as well get used to seeing him. Because he be doing his thing. So, let me get into these uh, lemon pepper. I also got me, I need to get some sauce for it. You know, the uh, honey mustard. Just in case, you know. Just in case. And then I got my Mango Island smoothie. Which y'all see that, you know. Yeah, Checkers hooked me up today. Not expensive either. So shout out to them. So, while I dig into this, I guess I can share some of my news with y'all. Let me try this first. I know y'all waiting for it. Let me pepper my wings. That's good, man. Chicken tastes real good, too. You know how you go some places, you get like chicken nuggets or something, popcorn chicken, and it be soft. It's crunchy. And that full white meat taste, you know? Taste that lemon pepper right off the gate. I'm definitely loving that. Shout out to Jackson. Like I said, too, guys. I also did a uh, the two for four. Where I got me like a a bacon cheeseburger and a chicken sandwich. Look at my bacon cheeseburger. You know that? So I got that. I'm gonna dig in that, and I got a chicken sandwich too. Still got the fries on the side. Oh, they're like, hey, you gonna eat all that? Try. But so I ain't holding y'all up. Listen. This is what I'm this is, is my plans, okay? So I know it's the beginning of the year. Everybody makes New Year's resolutions, things like that. I'm not, you know, taking it that far. But what I will say is I definitely uh plan to go to the the UK this year okay I've been watching and I've noticed so much this I, I get so much love from the UK man y'all wouldn't understand you know what I mean don't, don't get me wrong I get love from my people in the states too but I get a lot of love from UK and uh you know I, I really want to go out there because it's a it's a completely different way of living but they have amazing dishes um, that I really want to try uh and they serve massive portions. You know what I mean? So I, I definitely got to try that, man. Um, so definitely, you know, I want to go for the culture. I have to go for the food, but mainly for the experience. Um, I feel like, you know, we have to kind of keep our options open when it comes to personal growth. Uh, because there's so many different perspectives in the world, man. Uh, I can't just deal with one. You know, I like to travel. I like to get, get out and get around. So... My plan is to go to UK, guys. So if you guys got any advice for me as far as people from the UK or people heading to the UK who've been to the UK, uh, you know, let me know, man. I'm all ears, whatever the advice is, because I definitely want to make it happen this year. Good. 
it's real good too. I really think it, it, it'll be a great experience, uh, you know, to learn from a different, a different way of life, uh, and just have fun, man. I think we we take life for granted in so many ways. So they have the opportunity to do something, to to do more, to even shed light on places there that people don't know about. You know, that's the whole point of grub love. Man. You know what I'm saying? They say, uh, what, a, a way to a man's heart is through his stomach. That's me all day. You know, some people it may not be true, but for me it is. You know, there is no conversation barrier you can't break without a good meal. I tell you, man, good food changes a lot of things. Okay? I mean, you think about it. There's a lot of women even now who love a man who can cook you know it didn't used to be like that it used to be where you know the woman had to be the only one who know how to cook a man pay, pay the bills stuff like that but now that could be a way to a woman's heart too man so I think it's good to I do things, you know, experience all of the pleasures of life, and, you know, uh, go at it wholeheartedly, man, that be, you know, everybody who knows me know, you know, if I want to do something, I'm going to go, go hard at it. I think you get back what you put in into any situation. So you put in 150%, you get it back. You just gotta remain consistent, man. It all work out. So yeah, that's my plans, man. My plans to go to UK. Definitely want to go at a good time. From what I hear, though, the best time to go is uh, during football season. And over there, that's soccer. But, you know, over there, it's, it's different than here. We, of course, call it soccer, but it's football. You know, you actually use your feet. So, during uh, football season is when it's really uh, the best time to go, from what I heard. Just like for, um, like Brazil, the best time to go is uh, during Carnival. So, everybody got their times. So, that's the only advice I got so far, guys. So, if you guys got any advice for me, let me know, man. I'm definitely open ears to it. Um, so, let me know. I'm going to go ahead and dive into my food, man. I'll get back with you guys in a bit. Hopefully, you got some ideas for me. It's your boy, Mr. Grub. All right, guys. So, hopefully, you guys got some ideas for me. Um, shout out to Checkers, first off. The food was delicious. You guys get a 10 from me. That's first thing. You guys hear it first from Mr. Grub. Second thing, I'm still trying to find some ideas, man, because I want to plan this out perfectly when it comes down to making sure I make the right decision. So, you guys keep me posted on that, man, and I'll keep you posted on my journey there. You guys will see me every day, so don't forget to comment below. Give me your ideas, man. Let me know. Until next time, you guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. It's your boy, Mr. Grub. I'm out.